welcome. My name is Ariel Callender, and I am FWC's Public Information Coordinator for the South Region. We're here on the last day of lobster sport season in the south side of the Content Keys. Way behind in the background, you can see our captain for the day, Lieutenant Dodd Bolter, who is hey. licensed to take us out here. I'm also here with a member of our communications team and two of our public information officers. Can you guys introduce yourselves, please? I'm Senior Officer Jason Rapper of the Florida Keys. I'm Shannon Knowles of Communications out of our Tallahassee office. And I'm Officer Tyson Matthews for the South Region. And can you tell us a little bit more about what we are doing out here today on Thursday, final day of lobster sports season? It's the final day, Thursday, the final day of lobster season, uh, 2022. We're out here in the Contents Keys. We are just out here checking, checking, uh, checking everything, the dive flags, all the boating safety stuff, and the, and the resource checks. On this final day, is there anything that people should be mindful of, be aware of? I think we've gone over bag limits, size limits, but what other tips that should they know for the last day of lobster sports season? Yeah, great question. Um, so when, when everybody's done here, your bag limit is going to be per person per harvester per day, and your maximum that each person is allowed is going to be still 12 for the two days. So be mindful of that when you're exiting from the Keys and going home. If you by chance get stopped, uh, just have your license and, and your own specific bag limit. And if I'm still on the water on my boat, can I have both days bag limit, or is it just the one day? That's a good question. So if you're out here for both days of mini season, your bag limit on the water is for that day. So for example, you got your six yesterday, keep them on shore wherever you were done. And then for the second day, you're going to have your six maximum per licensed harvester. Shannon, I know this is your first time in the Keys lobstering. It's also my first time. And the Keys are slightly different than maybe other areas of the state. Um, is there anything that you've learned during your time here, specific to Monroe County? Well, so last night, you all probably saw on our Facebook page that we did some bully netting. So that was really awesome to see um, going out at night, seeing folks who aren't out there in the day catching lobsters, but choosing to go at night and do the bully netting. That was really neat. Um, and just coming out here, seeing all the boats, um, I mean, we look around, there, it looks like several hundred, maybe a couple thousand boats. There's a lot of people on the water. And so um, I've learned so much, just the boating safety tips that we give out all of the time. It, it really is very important, you know, seeing everybody with their dive flags and seeing everybody with their life jackets on and just making sure that you're not operating a vessel while under the influence. Um, there's a lot of people out here having a great time and we just want everybody to get home safely and enjoy their two days down here in the Keys. It's beautiful. It's one of the most gorgeous places I've ever visited and so definitely encourage anyone out there who has thought about coming down to the Keys uh, for lobster sport season. It's definitely worth the trip. Absolutely. You mentioned about all of the boats that are out here, the families recreating, and I see over here we have some people in the water, they've got their flags up, see some snorkeling, maybe we can go over and see what they've got. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's Hi everybody, I'm here with the Harris family, and they've been out lobstering since this morning, and so guys, what is your favorite part about lobster sports season? Tickling them out. Tickling them out. So, actually, that's a good question. Tell me what that is. For those of you, like me, who's new to the Keys, never been lobstering, what does that mean? Uh, you use this this stick, the tickle stick. You use this end, you stick it in the hole, and kind of put it behind him and drag him out. Okay. Or you can also sometimes scare them out if they're in a weird way. You got a net in one hand, or you just do them with your, you just do them with your gloved hand? Well, uh, yeah. You use nets? Yeah, okay. it's pretty tough without it. And you're always going to have that gauge? You always want to have a measuring device with you in the water, correct? Yep. Because you got to do what in the water? you got to measure them before you bring them back. There you go. Right, you go. measure them while they're in the water. So, what else have you guys been doing while you've been here for sports season? Um, well, tomorrow we're going to go to Key West and walk around. Okay. Just going to out on the snow. Oh, we did snapper fishing. Snapper fishing. Okay, great. So do you guys come out every year for sports season, or is this your first time? No, we, we come usually every two years. Every we two years. Came. So we've been, well, since she was a baby, so we've been coming since then. You guys come to this, come to this area? We've been coming to Content Key for, I 
would say at least eight years or so now. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, we're in content keys. Um, this is my, I've been in the keys for 16 years. I usually do the upper keys. I've never been down in this area. There's got to be a thousand boats here. It was busier yesterday. Oh, wow, okay. It was busier yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, how many lobsters have you caught so far? 26. Yeah, this is every Okay, so, Officer Rafter, let's show everybody, like, what's the proper way to measure a lobster to well, make what sure I would, it's illegal. Event. What I would do is, she has one here in her hand. I'd ask her to take the measuring device that she used. I'd like to see that. We won't do it over the water, because they will make, they'll make a break for it. Keep them in the boat. There you go. Okay, it's looking good, right? Your measuring device is falling on top of the carapace. That looks good. You can tell by looking at this and one. And what's this, that this limit? Is, is it, it's got to be more than three inches, yeah, correct? It it's got to be. Stand by a second. I'm going to make sure I don't lose them. If you break the lobster up into two segments, you got the, the you got the head segment and the tail segment. The, the head segment is to the carapace. This is where our measurement comes from. It's, just a, it's a greater than three inch measurement. You t uh, just like a young lady here, she take your measuring device, you put it in between the horns, and you want to stay on the hard part of the carapace. You don't want any of the eye involved in this measurement. So just the hard part of the carapace. When you feel like you got a good, got it in a good spot, bring the lower end of your measuring device down. And if it touches the carapace, you know you have a good one. If you have, if it goes behind the carapace, then you know it's too short. Let it, let it go. Let it grow. You guys got any that are any close? We're close. Are you guys getting a bunch of good ones? Yeah. And so yeah, what's the um, what's the limit? What is it per person it's, it's, per day? It's six per person per day per okay. license per licensed harvester. Okay. And so we got we got five people here and dad's in the water. Okay. So we got six. Okay. So six times six is what? Thirty six. All right. Go. So thirty six for today for them will mean lots of delicious dinners ahead. Yeah, and you okay. we, we were talking earlier before we started filming, we would ask you about the eggs. Have you guys seen any egg bearing ones? No. I don't think, I think so. so. Where would I don't we know look for that? that? Oh, that's a good question. Okay. Where would we look for that to make sure that we don't take an egg-bearing lobster? An egg-bearing lobster. This one's a male, so we're not gonna, not likely to see eggs on this one. But the uh, an egg-bearing lobster or a berry lobster, a sponge lobster, you sometimes we hear them called too. The eggs will be on her abdomen, okay, under the tail, under her abdomen. This whole area would be, it'd have this spongy type of um, material about it. And when the eggs are, are brand new, they're bright orange, not unlike the color of my glove. They look a lot like that. As the eggs get more, more mature, they uh, turn brownish, almost like the color of the top of our carapace here. Again, this is a male lobster, so we don't have to worry about that one. Uh, but, you know, you want to check every single one of them that you check. You know, your, your, uh, not only your measurements should, should you be doing in the water, but also check to see if it's a, a, a sponge or an egg-bearing lobster. We have three different species of lobster in the Keys. Uh, spiny lobster, Spanish lobster, and slipper lobster. Any egg-bearing lobster of any species of any size has to be thrown back. This, uh, this is a good lobster. It's a legal lobster. If this was egg-bearing, even if it was of legal size, you gotta get, you got to release it, okay? All right. And so one other thing to hit on, if anybody, since today is the last day for sport lobster or lobster sport season, if anybody's thinking of going bully netting tonight, um, we have to make sure to let everybody know you cannot dive in Monroe County, and it's one hour after sunset, and technically ends tonight at midnight. So no diving, one hour after sunset, Monroe County. Is that correct? One hour after official sunset. My my app I checked earlier. I think it said eight twelve or eight sixteen. Okay. That's official sunset. I'm gonna and give this back to you. Okay. All right. Well, we thank you all so much. Uh, we appreciate it and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your time here in the Keys. You guys have any questions for us? Well, you guys, how many do you have total? So that was a great conversation we just had with the Harris family, and thank you to them for taking the time out to speak to us. Um, so we're pretty much getting wrapped up here. Uh, I want to say thank you to our captain today, Lieutenant Bulger. Thanks for a great ride, and to our information officer, public information officers, Officer Matthews and Officer Rafter, and Shannon, as we close out sport season, lots of sport season, anything you want to add? Just make sure you have your life jacket on uh, or on the vessel. Just make sure you have those. Those are really important. Uh, maintain 360-degree awareness. Make sure you have a sober operator for your vessel. And just come out, have a great time, be safe.
and enjoy the keys. That's it.